Hi everyone. Well, welcome back to part two. I went to Home Depot and got some lumber and reconfigured the Collie's Curve. Uh, this is about what it's going to look like, uh, at least the basic frame. Thanks to the guys in Chilliwack, I was able to um, get them to make some leg pockets for me, so they're really good. We put ours at uh, 42 and 50 inch adjustable to cover off both the American side and uh, the Calgary Fremo folks. None of it's screwed or glued together yet, but uh, that'll be the next step. And then I'll be taking it inside to work on it there. I made a piece to fit in between uh, out of a half inch plywood so that we can screw on switches or whatever if I decide to put them in. It also gives a, a nice firm base to the bottom. As well, I cut out a piece of one inch styrofoam um, that will go on top to start the base for Collie's Curve. Some of it uh, I hope to use from John's uh, module that I showed in part one. So this just gives you basically an overview of what is about to come as I work away at it. And as I mentioned previously, it's now 26 inches wide and 6 feet long. And uh, I will incorporate some of the uh, leftovers from John's module. I was going to use some of his sideboards, but uh, they're pretty bad shape so I went and bought new stuff and it's all three quarter inch plywood as opposed to the half inch that John had. The end plates are three quarter inch by 26 inches wide. This is how the foam piece will fit in. It'll actually form the top level if you will and the track will go on top of that. After screwing everything together uh, I'll then put a railing around the bottom uh, and then put the leg pockets underneath that to raise everything up.